Michael Jackson. The King of Pop's shoes have been found after they moonwalked away from a charity auction, but not by themselves. Fox 29's Chris O'Connell is in Center City tonight with more on this strange investigation, Chris. Yeah, Joyce, it's not every day we do a news story about a pair of stolen shoes, but it's not every day those shoes happen to be pop icon Michael Jackson shoes. Well, it was about 2 o'clock this morning when some smooth criminal moonwalked out of the Lowe's Hotel with those shoes, but tonight there is a happy ending. These are Michael Jackson's side loafers. Imagine putting yourself in Michael Jackson's shoes. Well, apparently someone did. Three guys snatched them, stolen a pair of size nine and a half black loafers worn by Jackson in the mid-90s. The shoes were among the premier items at the swanky Hair of the Dog event at the Lowe's Hotel in Center City. The event raises money for Friends Are By Your Side, a group that provides cancer patients with wigs. The autographed shoes, going for a minimum of $20,000 a piece, were swiped from a secure room during the event. The theft happened when extra security were called in to handle another issue at that event. Somebody picked the shoes up and uh, they were drunk. They went outside, they tried to find a ride to the after party, they hopped in a limo with a bunch of girls and they were so drunk, they forgot them. Whoever took them left the shoes inside a stranger's limousine. And luckily, after hearing of the theft today, a good Samaritan called organizers to tell them they had found the famous shoes. I wanted to meet them right away. I just met them. They gave them to me, and good Are things happen to good people. So how valuable are the shoes? We asked the music memorabilia experts at Hard Rock Cafe. It's really, it's almost, it's a science, really, finding a price tag for something like that. And with him recently passing, it, I mean, that price tag could go through the roof. Organizers originally bought the shoes for $19,000, say they won't try to press charges. The plan now, to put the shoes back up for charity auction. I had 24 hours of stress, but at the end, I got a smile as large as life. Now, organizers put the blame squarely on hotel security tonight. We tried to get in contact with the spokesman from Lowe's. Our calls were not returned. Live in Center City tonight, Chris O'Connell, Fox 29 News. Okay, thank you, Chris. Will the mayor of a New Jersey town?